Hey y'all, it's Shine International here and I am back with another video. Today we'll be doing a get ready with me and we'll be talking about mental health. Just chit chatting, talking about depression and all of that and all of that. Make sure you stay tuned for this transformation so you can see how I got this book. Ah! since I did one or whatever and excuse my bonnet okay it's gonna be a bonnet for a majority of the video so um I'm getting ready to go run errands and film some more content for you guys my eyebrows are done off camera um I primed with my milk hydro gel primer and then I did my eyebrows with just a regular brown pencil so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in as you know um I've been missing from YouTube and honestly I'm kind of questioning if I even want to really like get back into doing YouTube like it is a lot of work and I feel like I'm in a space right now where I cannot commit 100% to to YouTube or to my supporters and I I hate that I got my own personal stuff going on I want to use my bare mineral bronzer and I'm going to go ahead and do the eyeshadow yeah I know me I'm a simple simple girl I'm just trying to figure out what direction I'm trying to take as far as like my channel I love the route that it went because I didn't want to I didn't want a channel that was based on hair so I love that you know my channel is based on like girl talk excuse the noise in the back I'm cat sitting my channel is based on girl teens girl talks and give you guys advice and although I love that, it's like, I want to branch out as well. I don't want that to be just my only thing if I do decide to like stay on on YouTube or whatever. So that's some things that I've been thinking about as far as like moving forward. Nobody really talks about like the pressure that you feel when you are a content creator and like YouTube, I don't know. I used to want to be a YouTuber so bad. I'm, I guess I'm that girl that once I receive something, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm not grateful for it anymore, but it's just like, okay, what's next? Um, I love my supporters. I love you guys so much. And I thank you guys for supporting me through Thick and Thin, especially the international game. You know, y'all let me pop in and stuff like that. And at this point in my YouTube career, I feel like I can't be so um, inconsistent. So that's something that I've been battling with. And hopefully I'll get the answers to that soon. Just, you know, feeling my vibe out. We have good days and we have bad days. And getting in front of a camera is hard. So that's the best I'm gonna do when it comes to um, eyeshadow. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation. And I use Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth and I use these two colors because I feel like it matches my skin the best. I honestly use majority of the 330 and then like a drop of the 355. So honestly it's winter time so I probably don't even need that drop of 355 but it's cool because when you like contour and highlight it, it brings your makeup lighter and so it just it'll offset itself. So yeah y'all, I just wanna like talk about like depression and like mental health because I've been depressed before but like I never used to validate my feelings. You get what I'm saying? So I used to just feel like, oh you're just, you're just sad, you'll snap out of it, but it's really and truly a thing. I didn't really validate it before in myself or in other people. Like I just felt like, oh you could get up, you could you could shake yourself out of it, which is true, you can shake yourself out of it, but I feel like you should honor your feelings that you go through when you are feeling down, when you are feeling sad. In a black community, I feel like they make it hard for us to identify and just deal with our feelings because from childhood you're not allowed to be sad you're not allowed to be depressed or have anxiety or something was wrong with you quote unquote and you're supposed to be grateful for the clothes they put on your back or the food they put on your table but it's like now that we're older we're trying to work through these emotions work through feeling sad and it's even harder because we didn't have the support that we 
needed when we were younger and like in your head you feel like you're wrong for feeling these things or it's bad that I feel like this and such and such and so forth okay so I did my um because my foundation I didn't put too much on so next I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlight so I'm gonna put it under my eyes I'm taking this blender brush from Morphe. It's a M173. It's a um, buffing brush, and I'm just gonna buff the edges out before I hit it with the blender, with the um, beauty blender. You know, we like to. Well, I can only speak for me. I like to kind of be like toughen up, or oh, you gonna get through it and stuff like that. But I'm allowed to go through these feelings. I'm allowed to feel sad. Why do I have to toughen up? Why? Why is it a thing that black women? And I'm sorry, you know, if other people of color or um, other races follow me, but I am a black woman, so I'm gonna speak from a black woman's perspective. But why do we have to toughen up? Why aren't we allowed to go through our emotions? Why aren't we allowed to feel our emotions? Why do we feel guilty when we feel our emotions? Girl, we could be sad, and like depression shows up in, in different ways for everybody like it could come up as you being sad it's hard for you to like start your day you don't clean your house you don't clean your room you lay in bed all day it looks different for everybody and i feel like we need to be gentle and kind with ourselves when we are going through these moments in life honestly i know i'm not the best person or the happiest person when i am depressed i shut it down and i don't want to deal with anybody and i don't care about anything and that's just that you can't really tell me nothing it's hard for me to be positive in my situations and it's just hard for me to see the great the good in things i'm gonna go back with this one more time and just do a second layer i like nice it has like good coverage and i'm not gonna do too much just a little bit and then i'm gonna i just feel like in a time when we are sad or we are going through a depressive episode we need to be the most kindest to ourselves we have to have the most regards for our own self we have to have the most empathy for our own self like at the end of the day it's like nobody knows how you feel but you this is the time where we have to show up for ourselves like i don't like when people be like oh just get active and just get up and get out of it shake it off or whatever because it's not that easy if i could wake up every day and feel fabulous and feel beautiful or whatever you don't you think i would choose that option like come on now you need your support group but not everybody is your support group now you need to be mindful of that as well because listen some people be happy that you're going through what you're going through that shit is crazy like you gotta protect your energy not everybody is you know here for your your benefit or not everybody is sees the greater good in whatever you're trying to do before my makeup creases up i'm going to go ahead and go in with my laura mercier translucent honey setting powder and i'm gonna hit under my eyes with the same beauty blender and i'm gonna pat it in because i don't want to bake i actually want to like work it in this side is a better example of working it in because what is this <laughs> so some things that help me deal with my depression is like i like to meditate and i know i say this in the majority of my videos but i honestly feel like meditation saved me like it sounds so cliche but meditation is that girl like really spending time with yourself 10 out of 10 would recommend it helps you understand how you're feeling i feel like everybody needs time to themselves i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my black opal um foundation stick carol i don't know but i'm about to use this to contour my nose so i'm gonna just do thin lines very thin lines very faint lines but yeah, meditation really helps me get through whatever I'm going through, like, seriously. And I'm not going to sit here. Ooh, I went too deep on this side. I really see a difference. I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, I just always be on top of my A game. No, I don't. And I feel like when life is going good and I'm in a good state of mind, I kind of forget to take that time for myself. I get so busy with work and I, I, I so it's like when i actually take the i'm just lazy i'm not even gonna lie sometimes i'm just lazy like i would rather lay in bed before i go to work than to go and 
spend 10 minutes designated for myself the the difference that i see when i meditate i i watched it change my mood like and when it comes to meditation sitting with yourself your eyes closed you could listen to music you could listen to like um tones you could not listen to anything at all and just listen to your surroundings like it's really um a subjective thing so it's based on the actual person that does it but i am an advocate for it and i feel like everybody needs to meditate i be feeling so one with myself like i be feeling so grounded and of course it's a work in progress some days i don't do it some days i really just don't feel up to it and it's okay be patient with yourself i'm not going to contour my cheeks with the foundation that i use to contour my nose i'm actually going to just use powder I, I just don't want nobody to feel like you could like this is permanent because it's really a state of mind and you know, your state of mind changes. I just want y'all to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, anything is possible. You can change anything in your life, even your state of mind. That's the first thing that you're able to change is your mindset because it's, it's so personal to you. Like, nobody can change your mind. Well, nobody should be able to change your mind, but you, like, you gotta be the one that wants that change or whatever, so. um. I know this is a sensitive topic, so it might be different for everybody. Then I'm coming in hot with my Lori Mercier, the same one, and I'm gonna like clean up the contour. Use my Real Techniques 201 brush and just dust it off a little bit because that was OD. I'm gonna actually use the same, the same powder, the Fenty Beauty powder on my nose. So yeah, y'all, um, meditation definitely is something. What else? I feel like being kind to myself. When I'm in, in the middle of a depressive episode, I'm in the pits of hell. I'm just so mean to myself, like no mercy, so cutthroat, like, oh, you could do this better, you could do this better. And honestly, the best way to deal with that is to just redirect your thoughts. Like when you start to have negative thoughts or like, they might just be snowballing, right? Just coming, coming, coming out of woodwork. And when you have these thoughts, the best thing to do is to just redirect them. Think about something else. Don't even think about what you're trying to redirect. Think about something else. And I just want to let y'all know that, you know, this is a safe space. And yeah, so I'm going to grab this same duster brush. I'm using L'Oreal True Match. I'm using a very thin brush for this step and I'm gonna use, um, I'm going to use my Anastasia Glow Kit, my Snow, that's the white highlighter. You can use white eyeliner or white eyeshadow for this part of the contour. If you care about contouring, how I contour, because I really care about contouring my nose. Like, remind yourself who you are, okay? Remind yourself who you are, like, sometimes we forget. You gonna remember, wake it up. You gotta wake it up. Like, photo finishing setting spray from Smashbox. And then I'm gonna let that dry. And one thing I did learn is in real life through meditation, just because I'm going through something right now, that doesn't invalidate who I was before, who I am now, what I accomplished. I'm still that girl, whether I'm going through something right now or not. You feel me? So that that's just like a constant reminder. You are not invalidated just because you're going through something, just because you're sad or just because you feel unworthy or however you may feel right now. It doesn't invalidate who you are. It doesn't change who you are as far as negatively. Like, girl going to line my lips and I'm using Juvia's Place. What color is it? It is cola. And then for the bottom, I'm going to um, going to um, use Milani color 60 in matte innocence and it's like a nude. And please do not give up on yourself. That's my next tip. Do not give up on yourself. If you feel like you need to see a therapist, I am an advocate for therapy. This one is from Victoria's Secret, Sugar High. Okay, so y'all know I'm about to do my lashes with hair glue, so I don't wanna hear it. Nobody likes to talk about how hard it is seeing a therapist, dog. Like, 
or finding a therapist like a good therapist like that is like finding a partner honestly because you have to find somebody that you trust if you just go to any anybody random take my advice because i have done it before you're not gonna feel welcomed or open to expressing how you feel or opening up with this person because you don't know them and then on top of that you gotta find somebody who's willing to help you because there are like different um therapists for different things i interviewed four people dead as already i still haven't found my one yet i found somebody who was close to it but i just be getting discouraged Right, y'all so this is the final look i'm actually gonna link this wig in my description box below it's so cute i found it off of tiktok oh, i love it so much i got so many compliments with this wig and i just love it it gives me like a different style like a different swag i don't know it just gives me like a different look and i love that um it is a borderline granny wig so i would not recommend just popping out with it. I don't know I just feel like it has to be jazzed up so it could really get that um I hope you enjoyed my little quick little makeup look it was cute and I used foundation this time don't give up on yourself you got this you know like everybody has their season and their moments and I just want everybody to just push through whatever season they may feel like they are going through at this time okay as long as you have breath in your chest you have options so don't forget that okay so y'all, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified every time your girl drops some new heat. Make sure you drop in the comment box below what are some things that you do to get out of your depressive episodes or just comment what you would like to see me do videos on. Oh, I also wanted to say thank you guys for 25K. I haven't really did a count in a long time. I just want to thank my international gang for riding it out with me and stick with me. I be seeing all your DMs, all your all your messages, and I thank you guys for your concern and I thank you guys for checking on me and I love you guys so so very much. So thank you, thank you, thank you, love you, love you, love you, and I'll see you in the next video.